Hi, fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, those cross watching. In today's reading, we're going to take a look and see what the cards are predicting for you for your current situation. It is going to be a general reading. If you're after a personal one, feel free to reach out and inquire. My email address will be listed below the video. Otherwise, let's go ahead and see what the cards have to say. Hmm. That's a whole heap of cards. All right, let's see what this is for you. You've got a lot of cards that have come out uh, in reverse, but then you've also got a few um, really good ones as well here. There is some sort of, um, I feel like there's some sort of personal setbacks that some of you have been experiencing lately. Um, maybe even like a strong need to move on or some of you have been trying to move on, which has been a bit of a difficult journey and hasn't necessarily been easy. Maybe you're moving on um, from a situation that you don't necessarily want to let go of or move on from. Okay, maybe you, you know, you still love this person, but deep down inside, you know, that it's best for you to let go of this individual. You could have also suffered some sort of temporary setback, something that put you back, put you way back, okay? And you feel like you're not where you want to be or you're not where you're supposed to be or the relationship here is, um, you know, not at a stage that you want it to be. You could possibly also be feeling all sorts of things. You could feel very guilty about, you know, what has happened here. You could be feeling regretful. You, maybe you're feeling like you could have done more. You could have, you know... Um, played more of a part to save the relationship uh, it just I'm particularly drawn to the five of cups here because it is an energy that signals that you have to in order to you know help with this moving on process and help with this letting go process you have to forgive yourself it's it's a card that encourages you to seek forgiveness okay forgive yourself before you're able to forgive you know whoever else this is um, and know that you did the best you could okay you did the best you could with the timing with the circumstances with the situation with the resources you had at hand you did the best you could um, Sometimes when this card shows up, and because it's pointing to the Six of Swords as well, I feel like the past is playing such a big role for you right now, okay? And it feels like maybe you're recognizing, right now what you're doing is you're recognizing the value of a very painful lesson, or the value of a very painful experience, or you will be in the very near future, okay? And you're now re recognizing that even something not working out for you is... A part of the plan it's a part of things working out for you it's all a part of the divine plan at the end of the day okay uh, so just to give you an example and some of you may not just know this yet but just yet but this information will become available to you very shortly so maybe some things had to fall apart for you here so that they could come back together in a much more bigger and powerful way okay so just because you are maybe separated or you're in a broken relationship or you've moved away from someone maybe that time and space away from each other is going to allow for the both of you to really grow into yourselves, right? To So that you can work on yourselves, become better, happier, um, healthier versions of yourselves. And then when you're more in alignment and more in sync with each other, the universe does promise some sort of reconciliation. It does promise some sort of, you know, very joyful, happy and very promising reunion. Uh, so don't focus on the past too much, okay? You can't, there is no undo button. You can't necessarily, you know, unsay what was said or undo what was said but you absolutely can learn from it and I think that for a lot of you it is that time it is that time to let go of a situation that or let go of a person that you know no longer serves you especially I feel like holding on to some sort of regret or holding on to what could have been is what's preventing you from moving forward okay it's also preventing you from getting a good night's sleep it's also threatening your peace of mind there's a lot of unsettled energy um, in the reading here and I see that once you learn to let go and once you learn to make peace with the past I do see that it's going to I see that it's going you're going to be a lot more hopeful about the future okay because the future does hold some very wonderful things in store it does hold you know 
uh, new promises, new beginnings, new opportunities, reconciliation or reconnection. Um, and maybe the, this very person that you're letting go of isn't necessarily the person that is going to come back into your life. It may be, okay, it may be the reunion and the reconciliation that the four of wands seem to indicate. Or it could be that the reason why you have to let go of this person or you have to let go of this, this situation or whatever this thing is that you're trying to move on from but you're struggling with, maybe, you know, without you necessarily realizing it. And this is, you know, we're just going back to talking about how, you know, the broader picture. And maybe you're not seeing it now, but you will, looking back, you'll be able to connect the dots that it's making room or it's making space in your life for something else. And the reason why, you know, you you haven't had that right opportunity that right job opportunity or that right you know opportunity to show up whether it's with love or romance or you know anything else here it's because you don't have that space in your life okay you don't have that space in your life to invite um you know this new romantic prospect or this new relationship or this new friendship or this new job whatever it is um and for some of you, you know, maybe this, the, the energies seem to indicate that you have suffered um, a heartbreak and you, you know, a broken relationship and maybe you're finding it really hard to move on. Okay. Maybe the pain of it all is, it's still, you know, it's still very emotional and it hurts. Um, it does feel like there's a lot of negative emotions in the reading, but I do see that this isn't, you know, this is only temporary. You're not going to stay in this unhappy place. Um forever but what will help you move through it is forgiveness okay i do see you know underneath it there's such a positive message with the four of wands um and it's you know reconciling differences with someone else reconciling differences within yourself it's this homecoming it's you getting back to a happy place maybe the happiest places that you've been it's you going back to something that you love or maybe the person that you you know you once were it just feels like it's reminding you that no matter how maybe uncomfortable or bad things may seem right now, the clouds here remind me that there's always a silver lining. So I do see things getting uh, better for you. So, you know, and even if you, for those of you that don't necessarily want to put yourself out there in, you know, um, put yourself out there and meet new people or get into a relationship, um, the cards do see in, in, to indicate that, you know, if you don't feel like you're ready to do that just yet, that's okay. Take your time. You know what I mean? You're on your own unique journey, so you don't have to compare yourself to anyone else out there. But if you're not quite ready for it, that's okay. The cards do indicate that there is still love for you in the future. So take as long as you need. But I think a part of that process that you're going through, all of this managing emotions and this letting go forgiveness especially self-forgiveness or forgiveness of someone else is going to help you with that i'm also seeing that maybe someone who's pulled away from you here or a relationship that had to end or, or maybe you know you were the one that walked away from this person i think it's stirring up a lot of um maybe unresolved earlier emotions that you've had within you. So for example, like issues of abandonment, I think there's been some sort of painful and hurtful triggers. And I think this is also something that, you know, you're struggling with right now. And it's causing this friction in your current situation. But again, I just think that forgiveness is such a big and integral part to this journey of healing, because essentially that's what you're on. Um, and I do think that there is a new beginning that awaits for a lot of you. I do think there's a new beginning, a new chapter, a new romantic energy. Um, you know, Four of Wands also speaks about marriages and engagements. So there is love for you in the future. It could be love with the same person, maybe just not right now. It could be love with a, um, a whole new energy. But I do see there is this um, a reunion, a gathering a sense of home, a sense of belonging here. A relationship or a union that I feel like is, you know, is going to be built on a very strong foundation. And perhaps it's the result of all of this conflict um, and all of this, you know, that has come before you. All right, guys, and these are your messages. Thanks for watching and listening. Please show your support by liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. And don't forget to hit the notification. Um, 
Bell. Thank you guys again for your time and your attention. Bye for now.